So you're all ready to start running Facebook ads to WhatsApp Messenger, and you're just kind of wondering how to get that set up. Here's the great news. It's gonna take just a few minutes, and I'm gonna hold your hand, make it super easy, and walk you through it. And at the end of this, be sure to watch, because I'll share with you a couple tips to keep in mind to make sure that WhatsApp ad gets the best results possible. So let's dive right in. So here we are, we find ourselves in my Facebook ad manager. For me, I go through Facebook business manager, business.facebook.com, and we're gonna be looking at creating a new ad. So we now wanna choose what our consideration is or what the objective is for Facebook. And of course, in this case, the objective is to get messages, right? Because we're driving traffic to our WhatsApp. And so what we're going to do is click messages and then just click continue. This just in, we're already halfway done. So now that we've got this all set up, we're gonna, you're gonna wanna give the campaign a name because we wanna be able to recognize uh, the ad quickly when we're scanning through Ad Manager. And if you're creating dozens of ads in the future, it's super helpful to give a logical name to your ad campaign. For me, I typically name it something to do with what I'm targeting and then I put in a date. And so in this case, let's say we're targeting soccer fans. So we're gonna say soccer fans and we're gonna say March 22, 2022, and then we're gonna roll on down. And here we find ourselves, our campaign objectives already chosen, which is messages, remember, because we're driving people from Facebook or other meta properties to our WhatsApp messenger. And we're just gonna click next. Once we get in here, we wanna name our ad set, right? And this is all about our targeting and what we're doing. So let's say that we're gonna target uh, soccer fans, uh, and then we're also going to uh, target people 25 and older. So here we go, that like, makes it kind of clear what I'm looking through here, what interest it was, what age group I'm targeting, and the ad type is going to be click message, which is already highlighted here to make it super easy on us. Messaging apps, where we're gonna drive it to, we're just gonna wanna make sure that we select WhatsApp and unselect Messenger and Instagram Direct, unless you wanna drive traffic to those places, but I'm pretty sure the reason you found this video is because you searched for how do I run an ad on Facebook to WhatsApp? So, so let's scroll down. We'll see that our Facebook page is already connected. So the next thing we need to connect is our WhatsApp. If you haven't connected your WhatsApp to your Facebook business page yet, you can do that right through your settings. And I'll put a link to how to do that in the description. So just scroll down and check that out. I also recommend that you download the WhatsApp business app. Now what that is, is it allows you to set up a great business profile on WhatsApp with a product catalog, uh, allows you to set up quick responses to people, allows you to categorize different conversations you're having with people so you can follow up with them, it really helps you uh, optimize that sales funnel. So check that out if you want to, I'll put a link to that in the description, but it's whatsapp.com slash business. It's free, mobile app, super helpful. So now what we're going to do though is scroll right down here and as we get down there, we're gonna put in our daily budget and then we're gonna put in our targeting. So with targeting on WhatsApp messages currently, you wanna keep things a bit broader more than likely, but if you're a uh, advanced marketer, perhaps you're already using the Facebook Pixel or Instagram uh, Pixel and you wanna retarget some of those people because you wanna drive some traffic to your WhatsApp. So you might choose a custom audience that you already have saved. And if you want to, you can do that very easily by selecting one of those saved audiences that you've already created. In our case, we said we're gonna leave it broad and we're just gonna say we wanna go 25 and up. So we're gonna just select 25 and up and we'll even reach people over 65. We'll scroll down and you'll see here, Facebook even tells you we recommend broader audiences. Scroll down, I recommend leaving it on automatic placements because Facebook's AI is smart enough. We don't need to make believe that we're smarter than Facebook and you're gonna be checking these ads multiple times anyhow. So if something's wonky, we can adjust it, but give Facebook's AI enough time to run on its own to optimize itself because Facebook is pretty smart at this point. And as we continue on, we'll see at the ad creation level, we're just gonna create that ad. We're gonna add in our media, our images, our copy, our text, our clear call to action. And then it's gonna be pretty easy because our call to action for Facebook is simply to send people to our WhatsApp messenger. So, I hope this video is helpful, and I wanna share with you a couple quick things just to keep in mind. Number one, when you're creating these WhatsApp messages, do not neglect all that great data you already have saved in your Facebook and Instagram. And so if you wanna retarget people who have visited your website, or people who've watched your videos, or people who are interacting or engaging with your page, don't forget, you can target those custom audiences. Number two, be sure to test multiple versions of your ad. 
because you want to know what's converting and what isn't. So test different versions of the copy, meaning the text, what's actually written in the ad, and test different versions of that ad, whether it be a video ad or a static image, uh, whatever it is, but you want to test multiple versions. Number three, give it enough time to run so you can continue coming back and checking it and making sure that you're uh, really doing a good job with things and perhaps even shutting off things that aren't doing so well. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments. The best way to let me know is by subscribing, clicking the old thumbs up, sharing it with a friend. I don't care, maybe just sending me a personal note letting me know that you think I'm beautiful and that perhaps I'm God. I don't know, hey, you know, I, I'm open to all those types of things. And most importantly, if you ever have a question, please feel free to hit me up. Either message me, you can find me on all social media at David A. Pride, or go ahead and comment in the, in the comment section over here. And what I'll do is I'll create a video specifically for you, which is how I came about creating this video for someone else.